Audiocom's Ask the Expert. My name is Carrie Brennan. I am the Product Manager for Public Safety GIS Content and Services. And today I want to talk to you about the importance of indoor maps for public safety. This is a really important topic that is just starting to take traction within the industry. A few statistics for you. Over 80% of 911 calls are placed from cell phones. In certain locations, that's probably even higher, well into the 90% range. As well, in a pre-COVID-19 environment, we spent over 80% of our life indoors. I suspect that number may have gone up over the last 18 months or so. So we spend a lot of time indoors and naturally 911 calls are going to be initiated from these locations. A 911 call initiated from inside a building really does not provide actionable location intelligence with regards to the origin of the call. Very often a call will occur without any relevant bearing on where the call is coming from within a large structure. Think about it in terms of schools, shopping malls, convention centers. Very challenging to know exactly where the call is being located. Understanding the impact of indoor maps is going to be critical. When a 911 call comes in, telecommunicators are going to see a dot on the map with a location of where that call is coming from. Now, we may have a dot that looks like it's coming from the middle of a field without any relevance to, again, what is there. By having indoor maps available to us, we can not only see that there is a structure in which the call is being um, initiated from, but we can also get relevant content in relation to where the call is coming from and what public safety assets are around it. So if we think about a classroom situation, there's a medical emergency in which 911 is called, dispatchers can communicate the fact that the call initiated from room 208 that there's a fire extinguisher or an AED just down the hall from that room, they can also communicate with first responders where the nearest entrance is going to be, as opposed to always having to go through the front entrance and potentially walk a long distance to get to the location where the incident is occurring. The benefits of having indoor maps available for telecommunicators is better situational awareness for responses, knowing exactly where a call is coming from, what is around it absolutely is of benefit. Location intelligence for complex um, indoor environments as well. If you're at a large convention center, perhaps a sporting event at a large arena, there's a lot of complexity in those buildings. Having a good understanding of where the call is coming from is critical. As well, this helps to improve emergency response times inside a building. Again, if we think of a large sports arena or a convention center, sometimes those buildings can be as large as a half a mile or a mile inside in size. If you are going in at the opposite end of where the emergency is occurring, that can affect the time in which a response can um, occur. My call to action to you today is to look at the need for indoor maps within your emergency communication center or PSAP. In the same fashion as we started 20 and 25 years ago with very little GIS data available to us, we have to start somewhere. So we need to start to develop indoor map content today. Pick what type of buildings you want to work with. Most people are starting with schools 
or government facilities moving into commercial properties. Have highly accurate and up-to-date relevant content available, working with building owners to get plans that we can convert for you and make into actionable GIS data for you. What this does is empowers first responders to maximize location content and situational awareness and ultimately will help save lives. Appreciate you taking the time to spend with me today. If you have any questions regarding indoor maps, please feel free to contact us. Also, if you have other questions related to Ask the Expert, please feel free to share those. Thank you.